I don't know anything about these people. I don't know what, I know what first take is, but I don't know anything beyond, they're called creepy nuts. Bling, bang, bang, bon, born. Yeah, it showed up and I was like, that looks kind of interesting because it's first take and we've got like a DJ table and a microphone. So yeah, here we go. Wait. Jolly Jewels. This was going to be your suggestion for Request Fest? Well, you just, lo you just locked out. You got it for free. I do think it's funny, though, that Jolly Jewels was going to request Creepy Nuts. Roscoe After Dark. <laughs> what are the chances of that? <laughs> All right, here we go. Creepy Nuts. <laughs> I need to learn that, like, stat. nothing that was pretty crazy i really enjoyed that so are they both creepy nuts or is is the vocalist the creepy nut does anybody know yeah it's not much the video i mean it's a first take so it's kind of it's kind of what it is um it's pretty much what they all look like but i it's plural yeah but i mean I don't know. I mean, the cranberries aren't actually cranberries, so I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's both of them. Thank you, Starry. Really like that. That's uh, yeah. When does he breathe? Right. It's a duo. Okay. 
You did a Google. It is both. Thank you, Fairy Wings. It is both of them. Okay. I tell you, I, I've, I've always loved watching DJs work. Um, but all the stuff that they're doing on the, on the boxes, like I, I always thought they were just kind of making it up. You know, it's like you watch, you watch the keyboard while well, the keyboardist of any rock band, they're going batshit crazy. Like they're fighting dinosaurs on stage. And then they go press a couple keys and then they're eight feet away just madness legs flailing about as if independent from their body this is kind of how i view djs there's two turntables and a microphone hey oh and a bunch of switches and buttons and i are they, are they really doing that much i mean if you know please correct me but it just seems like a lot i don't know like i really feel like they just made the track beforehand they're playing it through a speaker and then pretending like they're doing it in real time. I have no idea. So I'm sure somebody that is an actual DJ will put in the comments and be like, hey, bro, you need to watch yourself. I'm a DJ. I actually do it live. Okay, well, let's tell me how. Like, I want to understand. Now, I will say this. One thing that I did learn, and I, I never knew this. Um, when you see someone, and this goes like, they did it here, but it's, it really goes back to the origins of, of record scratching and mixing, right? When you hear, uh, hypothetically, they're playing, they got the vinyl going, and let's say the record is DJ Rob Bass, It Takes Two. Okay. I want to rock right now. You know what I'm talking about? That little part. If that is on the record, this is my understanding. When that plays and it goes, I want to rock right now. I want to, you have to pull the record back a specific amount and then let it play again. I want to rock right. I want to rock. I want, you got to know exactly how much that pull is and when you scratch with the needle you got to know where to put it back you see what i'm saying like it's a lot more complicated than i thought it was that's crazy man that is nuts yeah i when i first learned that i was like no are djs really yeah like the old school DJs. So these days it's even more complex because they do electronic sampling too. And the mixing board is like playing a keyboard where entire songs are your instruments. That's nuts. Wow. <laughs> Good sloth. I'm glad we could help. That's crazy. I didn't know that. See, like one time I watched Skrillex. It was like, a, it was one of his songs or something, but the song just cuts out and then you hear him. And this was like a live, right? He goes, guys, hold on, hold on. My computer just crashed. Hold on. And then it came back up and I'm like, your computer, cra was, was it all just one track and Windows Media Player just errored out and you just pull up Media Player again and press, I have no idea. So yeah, it's got to be so much. It's one of those things that I know for a fact I don't have enough respect for because I just don't know. But if I knew, I my mind would be blown. That would be crazy. I wouldn't rock right now. Eric, 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 never, never. Good stuff. 